Hey everyone, I'm cooking tonight. I'm making a recipe called Rogan Josh. Uh, it's a curry from Kashmir, India. It comes from the Persian words Rogan and Josh. Rogan meaning oil, Josh meaning hot, searing, passionate, that sort of thing. Uh, the recipe normally calls for lamb. I'm using steak because I'm from Texas and I like steak. Uh, it's probably a little blasphemous to some people from India, but like I said, I'm from Texas. You know, beef is king here. I'm sure this isn't the most authentic Rogan Josh recipe, but I think it turns out pretty good. So let me take you back into the kitchen and show you how I make it. We got extra virgin olive oil in the bottom of our pan, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to heat it to about 7. Uh, we don't want it to get too hot because we don't want to burn the oil. If it starts smoking, it is too hot and you want to turn it down. Uh, and uh, our oil should be nice and hot. You can tell how hot it is because of the viscosity. Uh, the more water-like it is, the hotter it is. If it's if it's thick and oily, then it's not very warm. So now that it's warm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my onions. This is two yellow onions, chopped. It's good. It's sizzling. If it doesn't sizzle, your oil is too cold. Uh, I'm going to get my ladle. I'm just going to stir it around a little bit. We want these to start to turn yellow. Uh, if they start to turn brown, you cook them too long. Them a, move them around a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I got my giant minced garlic. Uh, if you can do it, chop up some fresh cloves of garlic. It gives you a better flavor. But I unfortunately don't have any. Just take a few cloves, unless you really like garlic than I do, in which case, take a few more. And just stir those in with the onions. This is going to be cooking down, so if your onions are a little cooked, undercooked at this point, that is a-okay. Alright, what I'm going to add next is my Rogan Josh curry mixture. What it is, is it's turmeric, coriander, cumin, garam masala, uh, which is an Indian spice, chili powder, ginger, and more garlic powder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump it in there. And I'm going to stir it around with the onions a little bit. Uh, another thing you can do, if you can, is mix those spices and put them in the bottom of a pan without any oil, and what that does is it toasts the spices, it brings out some of their oils, and uh, makes them a little less strong, but gives them a more robust flavor. Uh, okay, so I got that nice and mixed. Uh, next what I'm going to do is we're going to add our meat. In this case, it's a uh, steak sirloin. Uh, obviously, if you were in India, you probably wouldn't get steak with this. You'd probably get lamb, which is the traditional meat for Rogan Josh curry. Uh, but I'm just going to dump it in there. Oh, and make sure you have a high-walled pan for this, because it ends up quite a bit. I'm going to mix it in there. We're browning the meat. You don't necessarily want to cook it all the way through because it's going to stew in there for a while. It's getting in there and browning it. You can pre-brown your meat if you'd like. Uh, if you do it over a really high heat and just sear the outside, it'll lock in the flavors better so that then later it's a little juicier. My dog barking. Blue! Hush! Okay, uh, as you can see, the meat's browned a little bit, uh, which is good. You don't want raw meat. Um, so what I'm going to do now is screw the lid of my garlic. <laughs> and then I'm going to add water. Or I'm sorry, I'm going to add uh, diced tomatoes. This is uh, two tomatoes, about a medium-sized one and a small one. And that's going to add some water to the curry, just natural water in the tomatoes. Um, 
some people add water to it to kind of make this into a sauce. Uh, since I'm using beef, I am going to do something which adds quite a bit more flavor. I am going to add a can of hearty beef broth. Uh, what the beef broth does is it really enhances the flavor. Um, if you want to get the low sodium, go for it. It's healthier. Uh, as you can see, I'm using low sodium, no MSG, and I'm just going to dump it in there. So now with the tomatoes and the broth, it's starting to look a little more like a curry and a little less like meat and onions. Yeah, you take that trash out. Okay, because I added the broth, it's not sizzling anymore. That's okay. At this point, slow cooking. We're just going to cook it down. We are going to get the next part ready. We're going to add Dannon All Natural Yogurt. If you can find the regular, that's fine, but non-fat will work also. But uh, obviously you probably don't want to use the shit with strawberries and stuff in it. So we're just going to open and dump it in there. As you can see we're just about simmering here. Just dump the whole thing in there. Unless it's being stubborn and not coming out, then squeeze it. And there you go. One thing of yogurt. Let's just stir it in. This is going to act as a thickener a little bit. Okay, so we've added the yogurt in there. Now, people like to go easy on the salt. You know, they, they hear in the news that, you know, salt is bad for your heart and all that. And it is. It's bad for your heart. But um, you don't always have to eat healthy. And we got a lot of fresh vegetables in here and all that good stuff. So I'm going to add some salt. It's, you know, depending on your taste. If you like salty food, make it more salty. Um, I like mine either way. So I'm just going to add about that much salt and then let it cook down for a while. And then uh, if it needs more salt later, you can always add more. It's harder to take it out. So try and be a little conservative to begin with. And as this cooks, it's going to cook for about an hour. The flavor is going to change quite a bit. So d don't make it as salty as you want it right now at this stage. Wait a little while. Let it cook. Okay, so I'm just going to mix the salt in there. And then I'm going to turn it down to about four. We're going to want it to simmer. Not boil, but simmer. Okay, we've let our curry cook down for a couple hours now. As you can see, the liquid levels drop significantly. That's because we cooked it uncovered. If you cook it covered, it traps all the moisture in there, and you retain a lot of liquid. If you uncover it, you lose a lot of moisture, and you enhance the flavors. You condense them down. So what we have right now is a reduced, very flavor, flavorful curry, and it goes really good on rice. we got some rice, some water boiling right here, and we're going to add some rice to it later. And uh, this is good on rice, and if you can find non-bread, it's really good on that too. So yeah, that's Rogan Josh Curry. Hope you enjoy.